Hey everybody, Zenith Beast here and Woods Burnie here. This is the night of the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. We're ready to take you back again to Fiserv.form. The next matchup is the Miami Heat facing against the Milwaukee Bucks. Now the crazy thing about it is that the Milwaukee Bucks already have made that one with a couple of dunks in the game. He know that Giannis Antetokounmpo has done it again. All his racing towards his effortless, they are taking one of his time to go over and from under. It's not what he's done, but all his performance has come in fruition. He's been really been working his way down here to start the first game of the night, but let's find out if he does with his second game to keep on coming down. For the next part of a key matchups in between, it's by Jimmy Butler and Chris Middleton, the small four position. Manny Beasley is on Duncan Robinson, and it's Terry Rozier, the third, on Damian Lillard. Then it's Brooke Lopez, and Bam Adebayo, and this is all you call for Giannis Antetokounmpo on Haywood Weissman. Now it's time to send you down to Milwaukee, Wisconsin. The next commentators I will have is Brian Anderson, and he's also along with the 2K Sports crew, and our little force will be on the sideline, checking on each game's right in between the Bucks and the Heat. And we'll see you all later for the Post Game Show. Let's get you down and enjoy the second part of the game of the first game night of the NBA on 2K Sports. And remember, the last part of the game will be the Timberwolves facing against the Suns at Target Center. That will be happening here at 9.30 p.m. That will be coming up right after this game. Now let's do it. Enjoy, guys. Welcome all. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports. We've got some NBA action coming up for you. And tonight we've got the Milwaukee Bucks playing against the Miami Heat. I'm Brian Anderson. With us tonight, two great basketball minds, Grant Hill and Steve Smith. Also, our reporter, Allie LaForce. All right, now let's check out the starters for the Miami Heat. On the wing, it'll be Robinson and Butler. Then it's Bam Adebayo. Then it's Terry Rozier. And it's Highsmith in at the four. And for Milwaukee, filling out the wings, it's Beasley and Middleton. Giannis and Lopez together down low. And it's Lillard in at the one. With the regular season winding down as a player, Smitty, how aware are you of your contract status? Very aware, B.A. For free agents, it's a last chance to impress potential students, especially for those guys who won't be going to the playoffs. Now here's Middleton. Good D by Adebayo. And so Adebayo will bring it up for the Miami Heat. Pass to Butler. Jimmy Butler makes his first one. Wow, the strength of Jimmy Butler fends off defenders well when he goes up to score. Here's Lopez. Middleton with it. Butler covering. And the Free! Oh, Chris Middleton. He is night in and out. His offense is there. Butler passes to Adebayo. Back to Butler. Rebound by Middleton. About a minute played here so far in the first. Here's out of the Kumpo. Oh, great D that time from Adebayo. Rogier pass to Adebayo. Here's Highsmith. Out of the Kumpo covering. Pass to Butler. Here's Highsmith. Three pointer Rogier. And he can't get that one. Beasley on the wing. And it's Miami with a rebound. Shut down. This is the way you play defense. This is how you protect the rim. Rozier outside. Here's Highsmith on the Kumpo covering. Highsmith passes to Rozier. Just five to shoot. No good on the triple. The Bucks have called one of four to begin this one. One thing about the Heat, Smitty, they always seem to turn castaways into contributors. You're right, B.A., so many undrafted players who've broken through in Miami. Credit the front office and coaching staff, finding and developing those diamonds in the rough. Milwaukee, no good that time either. 
Just a little off to start this game. One for five, looking to find some kind Duncan of... Duncan Robinson. Gets it to go. Rushing off the contact well. Duncan Robinson is getting better at scoring while under pressure. Lillard passes to Beasley. Back to Lillard. Fires for three. It's hauled in by the Heat. Adebayo's got his fourth rebound in this one. Highsmith passes to Robinson. And here's Butler. The three is up. Gets it to go. Jimmy Butler. Two for three for in this three. game. Give him credit. Jimmy Butler has really improved that jumper over the years. Timeout, Bucks. Milwaukee. Bucks, Timeout. Having knots to win against Boston in their last game. Yeah, and that one came down to their rebounding. There was a big gap between the two teams there. And you know this, what you do on the backboard may not completely win or lose a game, but it can tip the scale in one team's favor. As we throw you into the flashback of this play, but this one happened to be one of the... Uh, and that happened with Giannis on Kupo as he after he was suffered already and he was out for the rest of the for the game of the postseason. He was not being able to do this one all by himself because that one changed his life and that one just constantly just messed him up at a routines. This was nowhere that he has ever been played before, and that one got into a bruising halt. Yeah, I, I just really have to say that this one really can't be able to just go right from the chocolates. They really are starting to show them off, but this is not how it's turning out to be a good way that they can't do. And they will not get this one important because they really are trying to get that one showing off that bar. Every angle along the way, you just don't want to keep that one going right from the attackers and get right to work. You know, this offense is not going to pick up that strength easily enough. You just got to keep on doing it again. Before the playoffs get going, let's see how the field might look. You take a look at the Bucks with the playoffs fast approaching. They are well positioned at second place in the conference. And of course, there's the Heat. They're a ways down in the standings. See where the Bucks are. Give them credit. I mean, they've been playing very well. Yes, Octave Kumbo! They know they have a bullseye on their backs. Right, they knew teams would be gunning for them night in and night out. That's only fueled their commitment to putting a great product on the floor. Here's Rozier. The Bucks getting their last shot to go. Oh, nice Jimmy shot. Butler. Butler's got seven points. There's the grit of Jimmy Butler. Defender all over him. Contact, and it's a bucket all the same. Lillard passes to Anacupo. Kumbo. This approach, getting him involved early, and it's already paying off. It makes sense, right? You're trying to get off to a fast start, and he can help with that. Jimmy Butler for three. He's got ten. This has been a tremendous quarter for him. Everything he puts up now Listen. looks like it's going in. That's the toughest thing. That's Jimmy Butler. What does he bring to this team? Too? Spent. He a hard. And the way he competes out there, it is infectious. Jimmy challenges his teammates to raise their level of effort. And coaches, they love Jimmy Butler. I mean, he's staying aggressive, trying to regain his touch. But right now, he's hurting the team. Pass to Highsmith. Here's Butler. And again, Jimmy Butler. Hurting. Is this the vibe? Hayward Iceman. Milwaukee has gone 0 for 2 from outside. For 3, here's Lillard. Offensive board. Here's Lopez. Oh, big D that time from Adebayo. And so Adebayo will bring it up for the Miami Heat. They want to keep rolling here, following the win against Atlanta. Yeah, they accomplished what they set out to do in that game took control of the tempo and imposed their will. Absolutely dominant performance from them. They are only going to get stronger as this season progresses. And so
so he Box foul. And at number 22, Chris Middleton. Racing the fifth His first team personal team. foul. Butler first team foul. Contact while shooting. And a line for your Miami Heat. Two guys on the score. Judy Butler. From Miami. Line on for two. They're passing the ball well. Setting up teammates. Playing team basketball and their focus. Yeah, I have to like the fact that they're not settling at all. I mean, they've really made a point to get the ball down inside and challenge that interior defense. And he drops it first. And you look at the position of turning a walkie box. The pendulum. Number 99. Really yeah, Jay Crawford. Yeah, back in the day. Second on the to make Number sure 12. Think right now you Danilio Gallinari. Number nine, Bobby Boris Jr. Number 21, Patrick Beverly. And number 24, Pat Connaughton. New group for the Bucks. Yeah, that's good as he hits both shots. That's what he does. Rock solid at the line. And for the Bucks, they're shooting 23%. Not great. Bucks, I'm at. I call the walking. They're looking for a little bit of redemption in this one after the loss to them here last time. They got crushed the last time they faced this team, and they only had themselves to blame. It was a sizable loss, and it was mostly due to their awful passing and ball control. They just need to use better judgment in this game. Now, guys, as we are we're approaching it down here to get to the NBA draft, but there's a lot of time left in, in each every every month. But there are some of whatever graduate students there are. Really are worth the end to this and right into it on its way down because one of the uh, athletes has been really been turning to be a lot of great of his work of his and dedicate on this game because there's a lot of them that's going to be turning to be over on it but right in between for these both of the athletes right in between that turn to be one of their best as you already know the top of the three have been really been pushing it off. I'm going to say that DJ Horn may be the one playing in the man from NC State. Fernando Baycott from the Tar Heels and Zach Eddy, the one here from Purdue. We have a little probability of this matchup, but we'll find out who's going to take the draft over it. Maybe somebody will play in the G League, somebody will be playing in the real game, but let's find out what happens. Back to you, Brian. With a brief pause, here are the most difficult teams to score against over the last 10 games. Miami in second. Over this last stretch, their defense has been airtight. The opponents have had a tough time executing at the offensive end. Beverly, the pass to Portis. Back to Beverly. Can they get it? Portis shot is off. Miami has gone two for four from range to start things off. Gallinari against Butler. Pass to right. Hero on the wing. Back to right. Two minutes remaining in the first period. Two minutes. And then Jimmy Butler has He's got 17 points. They've been very effective so far. A balanced attack at its best. And it's helped them build an early lead. They just need to stay aggressive. Now here's Colleton. Right now averaging five and a half a game. Crowder outside. Rebound by the Heat. Adebayo's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Right on the left side. Here's Hawkins, covered by Crowder. Here's Adebayo. And again, Damn, Adebayo. This is spot. Jamie Hawkins Jr. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Beverly, the pass to Crowder. Portis with it. Counted by Adebayo. Bobby Portis Jr. Official decision by Jay Crowder. Rotating the ball. Jay Crowder. Flawless. Now here's right. No made baskets yet. Hero outside. Right, the pass to Butler from behind the arc. It's all in by Portis. Milwaukee's gone 0 for 3 from downtown. To the paint. Ooh, good. Bobby Portis Jr. 
Portis has got the second bucket on the night. Bobby Portis plays hard, gives 100%, puts himself in a position to succeed. Pass to Hero. Now Adebayo, defended by Portis. Yeah, Adebayo. Adebayo's gotten his second bucket of the game. They're not wasting any time putting their stamp on this game. What a start. Play calling has been fantastic. They've been a step ahead of the defense since the Bobby Portis. He's able to play center despite being undersized. And here's Butler outside. Oh, and Jimmy Butler for three. What a huge shot to beat the buzzer. My goodness. That's the end of the first quarter. When they look to walk to walk the Bucks. 12. Miami Heat. 26. He's been productive scoring the ball. He's got 20 points so far. And more NBA action on 2K Sports. Coming your way right after this. We welcome you back to second quarter action. Plenty of basketball left to play. But this one has been one-sided so far. And for the Heat here, they've been putting on a show. They are looking engaged so far, especially on offense. And that has helped them build an advantage here. Playing with good focus and good energy. And it's Rozier with the ball for the Heat. The heavyweights for this team. Middleton and Giannis and forward. Malik Beasley is out there with Damian Lillard. And it's Lopez in at the five down low. That's the group from Milwaukee right now. Now here's Rozier. No points yet. Good work defensively by Lopez. Out to the right wing. The three. Here's Lillard. Three! Damian Lillard. But his accuracy is still undeniable. Pass to Robinson. Now Hero. Over Beasley. And there's Tyler Hero. On the assist from Robinson. The assist from and the heat Duncan Robinson. Heat. The Bucks shooting 37% from the floor at this point. Picked it. Robinson with it. Beasley covers. Robinson against Beasley. Robinson passes to Hero. It's Martin on the wing. Six on the shot clock. Jovic. Always a nice way to uh, show this first one. That's this communication. Martin recognizing and making a great pass. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. The Miami Heat are a team of underdogs and overachievers. Their all-star big man, Bam Adebayo, said, quote, we like guys like that with those stories of I got cut, this and that, and the third. You know, blue-collar people that had to work for what they got. And Brian, when you play for the Heat, hard work is what keeps you on the court. That is the truth. Thanks, Ali. Good stuff. When Caleb Martin's on the floor, you know he's going to inject some energy into the team. And he's talked about that, Grant. He takes pride in being the guy that gives them a lift when they need it. It's terrific to have a guy set that example. Nobody shot is off. Milwaukee with the ball. 15-point game. Inside. Here's out of the Kumpo. That went off the back iron and out. The Heat have gone two of four here in the second quarter. Pass to Martin. Now here's Robinson. Middleton covering. Off target with the three. From Milwaukee, they've gone just one of three to begin the second quarter. James Ante Kumpo. Moving the ball to the open man. Here's Martin. And here's Robinson. Middleton covering. Robinson passes to Martin. Here's Rozier. Baskets good. Jerry Rozier and Kerr. Assist on each of their last three buckets. Here's Milwaukee. Well, they've only given up six here in this quarter. Giants on to Kubo. Inside. From Damian Miller. Get the contact and get the finish. Outside Robinson. Martin against out of the Kumpo. 
hero, the pass to Rozier. Wing shot on the way. The rebound by Beasley. From Milwaukee, they've gone three of five since the beginning of the second. Middleton finds Lillard. Here's Lopez. Back to Lillard. Going in the end. Lillard. Ooh, Lillard. They didn't do themselves any favors with their shooting. Oh, Lopez. But they're starting to pick it up now. Mark outside. Back to Rozier. Mark outside. Hero on the wing. Long Tyler Hero for three. Hero's got five. They this is from three point Gallant Martin. Tyler Hero knows he has the green light to fire. On the Kupo outside. Middleton from the outside. Three. Chris Middleton. Long range plays that are working. I'm Giannis on the Cooper. We see this these days. Miami timeout. Range. Time called here. Miami decides to talk it over. And when it comes to defining rivalry, Smitty, you think both sides have to win big, or is mutual dislike enough? You know, I think be a winning really brings the rivalry out, and I think it has to go back to back. Uh, years. Also, a little bad blood doesn't hurt a rivalry when both teams just don't like each other. Speaking of that one here for don't liking each other, we definitely do have a halftime show coming up as we will have that one coming underway here to start things off here for Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, and Chad O'Neill as we get this thing underway here. Here for the start of the halftime show for tonight's game. Well, you know how they sign because they know that they all been crossing it in between. They are really up and pushing it up for all the time. They are really like a good guys. And this might be not what they were looking for, but it might be what they want to look for if they can score again. So that's going to be all here right now here on 2K Sports. So half time's underway with you after the first half completion of the game. Let's send you back to Brian with the crew. He's checked in for Lopez. Crowder comes in for Chris Middleton. And it's Beverly. He's in the position on the board. Miami 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 Bucks. Bucks. Entire new Number nine. Bobby Bortis. Number 20. Number 99, Jimmy Crowder. And, Crowder. and, right. and number and 21, Rozier. Patrick Beverly. Now here's Wright. Still without a bucket. Out of Io. Ooh, he's Bam out of Io. He's this strong. Jimmy Butler. All about team play. Great find right there. Now Beverly, 20 points for him last game against Boston. Nice Patrick Beverly! Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. The Heat have gotten over 50% of their shots to go. Five for nine in the second. Pass to Butler. Here's Adebayo, defended by Lillard. Right, the pass to Butler. Adebayo up top. Over Lillard. Adebayo, no good. Needs to look for mid-range, but there may have been a better option for them in that set. Giannis Antetokounmpo! Shots are dropping with more consistency now. Outside Butler. Pass to Adebayo. Two minutes remaining in the first half of the period. Two minutes. The arc. Go. Elon Wright for three. Is this bro? Wright's got his first three. Damn points Adebayo. Adebayo. And right there, I like how Adebayo takes his time, scans the floor, makes the unselfish play. Cool. Giannis Antetokounmpo. Five of their last six buckets have come from the interior. Pass to Adebayo. Shot that time, not on target. Oh, great D that time from Portis. And the foul is called. He crossed it. Number 22, Jimmy Butler. That's on. His first personal foul. First team foul. And a leader for his team. Headline for the box. Damian Lillard. You know, when we talk about Lillard, we're talking about one of the most in the NBA Be a no question. He can light up the scoreboard in the blink of an eye. 
Not many players in history have more 50-point games than he does. Free throw good, Lillard. Substitutional for Miami Heat, number 11, Jamie Hawkins, Jr. Both good from the line that time. 125 left in the second. Miami has gotten six of ten three-pointers to drop. Right against Lillard. Robinson passes to right. Here's Butler. And there Jimmy is Butler. With another bucket. Very aggressive tonight. Butler's offense has been front and center. Pass to Crowder. Here's Anna Kumpo. Jonix Anna Kumpo. He's got 14 points for the game. Lillard against Wright. Now here's Butler. Adebayo finds Butler. Lock Scott. He foul. Number 11, Jalen Hopkins Jr. His first personal foul. Connaughton, he's checked in. Three weeks of two snow for the Bucks. Number 24, Pat Connaughton. Milwaukee has gone two for two from the arc here in the second. Here's Anna Nakumpo. And he's, he's from the line for number two. 11, the official Jamie Hopkins Jr. Well, he was going up. His second, second personal foul. One of the only ways to see the Kumpo is to get Alan just Kumpo. Just under Kumpo. He is so Two shots. And absorbing contact in the paint. The first free throw is good. And Giannis will just about do anything the coaching staff asks. A true team player. So Kumpo nails both of them. And give them credit for making a more concerted effort to get to the line this quarter. Eight second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Butler against Crowder. Butler passes to Adebayo. Oh, it took a long foul on the shot. Number nine. So he'll Bobby be the line to pair. He's going to be a little foul. Portis. Defense a little Steve foul. Steve on Bam right there. But how can no he for Miami? Miami. Number 13, Bam on the bio. Two shots. Shoot two. First one falls for him. This game is defined by heart and hustle. Bam Adebayo would be walking by any coach on any team in any league. And both free throws good for Adebayo. 
And so Lillard will bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. Trailing by eight, following this time. Damian Lillard! Going up with force right there. Now here's right. Pass to Butler. Out of Iowa with it. Defended by Portis. From deep three-point land. Oh, and what a count! That's the end of the first half. But it is all Miami Heat. 44. It's Miami. Milwaukee Bucks. 38. Up the quarter. Four. And it's mostly due to their superb shooting. They've wasted very few possessions. We'll be right back with you shortly. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings to each and every one of you watching at this very moment. Uh, I'm Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jetsmith is here. Shaq is here. One half is behind us. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. What a start for Jimmy Butler. He ended up with 22 points, two assists, and one rebound. Kenny, let's get your take on Miami. The bench unit was an essential part of the puzzle in the first half. They really stepped it up in a big way, and that helped out. And now the starters can appreciate not having to carry the load on their own. And now Shaq, let's get your team out to Milwaukee. They were strong in transition. It seemed like the guys fed off the higher tempo. Certainly, they definitely got the looks they wanted to wear. They can keep it up in the second half. They may wear the other side out. That's all for now. Say goodbye to the folks. Thanks for joining us. Third quarter, just about ready to begin. You've been watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Second half of basketball is upon us, and we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game we've seen so far. It has been one outstanding game from Jimmy Butler. I like how they control the tempo and play to his strengths. And many of those quality shots have been jumpers. A very high percentage of those in the first half. And if you're just joining us, we played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. And on the floor for Eric Spolstra starting the second half. On the wing, it'll be Robinson and Butler. Then it's Terry Rozier. Then it's Bam out of bio, and it's Highsmith in at the four. Out to the wing. And it's hey, in. Highsmith. Bounce off the right iron. And the Heat lead by eight. Oh, very clever how he creates space against the bigger defender. And that's tough to do from the mid-range, because help can come from anywhere, but he beats everyone to the punch. Lillard can't get it to go. Miami has gotten six of 11 threes to go in this game. And talking about Bam Adebayo, he's a guy that loves Jimmy Butler. Assisted by Bam Adebayo. Himself into a defensive player of the year candidate. Bam's high activity is really contagious on this end. A moment to hear from Allie LaForce. Well, Damian Lillard embraces the big moments. He said, quote, I don't know why, I just do it. Giants, Ante Kumbo. And let Giannis hammer it home. John Damian Lillard. To the left side wing. Back to Rozier. Pass to Adebayo. Launches it. That's the Bam on a bio for three. Adebayo's got 11 points. Terrific game play coming out of halftime. A perfect three for three from the field. On the Kupo. And here's Lopez. Oh, nice Ro the Lopez. That size to his advantage. Man, I like it when Lopez establishes himself inside and looks to capitalize. Pass to Butler. Now out of bio. Covered by Lopez. Back to Butler. Rozier with it. Just five on the clock. The Heat need to get one up in a hurry. Robinson can't hit. Even though that one didn't go down, I like the offense and game plan here. Three for four, coming out of the break. Lillard with the ball. Nine points in the game. Pass to Lopez. The Bucks need to get up a shot here. 
Defensive foul on Miami. He's Number 55, Duncan Robinson. His first personal foul. That's his first team foul. Out of the line for the box. Damian Lillard. One shot. Just over two and a half minutes played. Three friends. Three friends. Rozier. Butler surveying the floor. Three pointer. And it's Rozier. Three Rozier. Three. 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 On the assist from Ohio. Adebayo's got four assists now tonight. Timeout call. Bucks timeout. Without question, Jimmy Butler displaying his skills today. With the perimeter D struggling to stay connected to him, they're getting bombarded. The NBA playoffs on 2K Sports is brought to you by Ruffles, the official chip of the NBA. Starry Lines. And by your local Kia dealers. A moment that inspires. As we're getting near to our hockey season, as we're going to get this thing underway here, we've got a games coming up as we got you covered here between the matchups of the Eastern Conference and a Western Conference here. As we got you all there covered in between of a matchup, so keep your eyes peeled on the other side. You're looking for that game. Game three will be happening here for the first part of a game as we send you over to the Western Conference and Eastern Conference as we start things off here in between. The Magic will take on against the Knicks at the Garden and then following along with the later game will be the next one underway soon after this. This will be the Bucks versus the Heat at Kaseya Center. Now with some numbers for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Checking in for the Milwaukee Bucks. Number 21, Batch Patrick Beverly. Here's Beverly, averaging around six a game. Here's Middleton. Out to Beasley. Beverly against Rozier. Second shot opportunity. Adebayo grabs the board. Adebayo's got nine rebounds now. Pass to Butler. Puts up a deep three. Rebounded by the Bucks. Middleton, left side. No good. Excellent D there from Hero. He just can't find a consistent way to score. And this team could certainly use it. To the middle. Here's Jovic. Yo, yo, bitch. Butler's got his third assist of the night. This is from Jimmy Butler. Middleton outside. Beverly outside. Outside Gallinari. Clock at six. Goes up on the wing. That one for Gallinari. Gallinari. Using the roller as a decoy for his own offense. Pass to Adebayo. Now Hero. Now here's Adebayo. Covered by Lopez. Adebayo, no good. And that's not the look they wanted. The defender was right there. Middleton outside. Chris Middleton! Middleton's got seven. A total focus for Middleton. A calming presence on this squad. Rozier against Beverly. Rozier, pass to Butler. Back 
to Lozier. Butler on the wing. Out left to the wing. Out of bio from long range. Rebound by Middleton. Middleton's got six rebounds now in the game. Here's Beasley. It's rebounded by Jimmy Butler. Unusual for him, just a lack of concentration. He fails to finish the play. Rozier finds Butler. Back to Rozier. To the inside. And Jimmy Butler. Butler. This is by Terry Rozier the third. To get quality looks. Milwaukee has gotten three of their seven threes to find Bucks, the time out. Timeout call. Milwaukee. Without question, Jimmy Butler displaying his skills today. Good decision to regather. Talk it over. Your main concern now is how to slow this guy down on the offensive end. That's the other side as we get this thing underway here. As I mentioned before, this will be the first game as we will be seeing things on the board. The Knicks and the Magic here at the Garden at 12.30. That will be at, that will be at the Garden here for, uh, in New York City. Following along with the next game as the Heat take on against the Bucks. That will be at 7.30 p.m. 7 o'clock game here in, in Miami at the Kaseya Center. Then, as we see the next part of the game, we've got our next one here that is coming down here, as we've got another one that's coming in in the Western Conference on the other side. We've got our next one that is underway in between. We have the Mavericks, and they're facing against the Clippers at the American Airlines Center. And then, the 10.30 game will be the Suns facing against the Timberwolves at Footprint Center. These are the probability of matchups that we will find out what will they take and they will take all the time to go right in between. Yeah, it's going to be a great matchup in between. Let's find out how they can do. Let's go back down to Brian Anderson with more. All for you. And some changes here for the Bucks. New Four substitution on the floor for the Bucks. Number 99, James Carter. In for Beasley. Here's Lopez. An important role in this offense. Number 20, around 12 and a half. Pat Kennedy. Portis, the pass to Lopez. Portis. A young player, he really understands what they're trying Order to do. Two minutes remaining in the third period, two, two minutes. Back to Rozier, past the hero, down low, Jovic. Oh, it's blocked! It deflects off the backboard! Crowder finds Beverly. Nice! Patrick Beverly! And now just a four-point heat lead. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Here come the Bucks. Beverly with it. Down guarded by Rozier. Here's Portis. Drops it. Bobby Portis. Eight Must put a body on Portis. He loves to crash the offensive glass. Three friends. Three friends. Beverly. Let's it go from deep. Rebounded by the Bucks. It's amazing. All night he's been out of sync on the offense. Shane Myers! There are no easy comebacks, but they really had to dig deep for this one. Tremendous composure on display. When they were down big, they did not panic. They just stuck with the game plan. Pass to Hawkins. Back to Rozier. Beverly with a steal. Now five seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Crowder, left side, for the lead. And the Crowder. Crowder. This is where Crowder's at his best. Off the catch. Rozier, pass to Hero. Back to Rozier. Here's Hawkins. Still no points. Pass to Jovic. Three-pointer Rozier. Oh, got it off! That's the end of the third quarter. Milwaukee Bucks, 61. Mil and Heat, 58. From the start of quarter number four. Stay with us. Close game so far, but we've got one more quarter to go. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right with you after this. And the moment now is 
we take a look at our State Farm Assist of the Game. You talk about painting a magnificent picture with that dive. Just a great decision and a perfect delivery. Execution. This is what you practice every day. These guys are professionals. Beautiful play. Time to get loud. It's the fourth quarter. Bucks fans, let's get up and make some noise. Damian Lillard out there with Malik Beasley. And it's Crowder in a small forward. That's the group for the Damian Lillard. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. Portis against Adebayo. Sinks out. Bam Adebayo. Five of ten and looking sharp. Nice work in there by Adebayo. He sets a physical tone for this team. Lillard passes to Anacupo. Jax Antetokounmpo. Almost any time he gets the look he wants, he hits it. He's been the reason they're in this position to win this game. Bam Adebayo. And reliable. Defensively, they've got to get more bodies in the paint. That's three straight field goals from below the free throw line. Butler against Crowder. Oh, Butler! Confidence for a three. This has been a running theme for him. Hit a number of threes in the first half. Now nails another. Portis against Adebayo. And he tries it off the glass, but it's no good. And so it's Butler who brings up the ball for the Miami Heat. Pass to Adebayo. Hey, I'm on the bayou. This is the bayou. Jimmy Butler. The second half. Strong follow through on a shot where Bam got hit. And here's Lillard from beyond the arc. It's hauled in by the Heat. And here's Robinson. Adebayo passes to Butler. Back to Adebayo. Shot clock at five. Outside for Butler. To take the lead. Adebayo. Yeah, Adebayo. Adebayo's got eight points in the quarter. A tireless worker. You don't have to call plays for Adebayo for him to score. Adekupo. Oh, they can't stop the run with that one. Miami's going one of two from deep in this quarter. Bam, Bam Adebayo. Adebayo. Yes, it's wrong. Jimmy Butler. Yeah, I don't blame him with the score this tight. You cannot take a chance here. And we're about three minutes into the fourth now. Lillard deciding where to go with it. Beasley outside. Here's Portis. Adebayo with the rejection. Huge block by Adebayo. Plays the game with aggression and shows no mercy. Here's Robinson. No good. Been long that time. From Milwaukee, they've got three of seven attempts in this fourth quarter to fall. Crowder finds out of the Kumpo. Let's go with a three. Rebounded by Butler. Butler's got his fifth rebound in this one. Pass to Highsmith. Back to Butler. Lillard from beyond the arc. And again, it's the Bucks missing. The Heat with the lead. To the paint. Here's Adebayo. And a great yeah, assist by Butler as that one goes. Assisted by Butler's got Jimmy Butler. Assist to the game with that last one. Lillard against right. To snap the cold streak. Three! Three! Second three of this half, third of the night. Three France! Three France! Crowder against 
Alex Butler. Robinson on the wing. Back to Butler. Pass to Adebayo. That one's hey, I'm on to Adebayo. Adebayo's got this five points. Give me a buzzer. Working here, each guy is willing to make the next pass. Miller passes to Adekupo. Now Crowder. Adekupo inside. Janis Antetokounmpo. Right now, the easy way he turned out. Giannis just takes pride in stepping up and hitting those big shots. Time called here. Miami decides to talk it over. And we're really stepping up. We're along the way here at 9 30 p.m., so it looks like we got the next game coming up. We got the Timberwolves, and they're ready to face against for the Suns as Devin Booker is all ready to be hyped up, and we'll be ready to get you down here for the set for the final game of day number two of the NBA playoffs. You know, I'm really excited to see what's going on right now. Do you think that Wood Spoony, that the Bucks are going to take it over, or is it going to be Miami Heat tying the series? Well, I guess that's going to be tying the game series, but I'm guessing that might be the one thing that's going to happen for. Hopefully this one changes everything, but this will not be allowed for. And this one's going to take a lot of time to get this one in there. Alex Spolstra and, of course, Doc Rivers are really uh, working their aggressive in their teams. They are really are showing things off. This is a Portman they team. We've got to keep on fighting things down. And that's what happens. They've got to get this one here through. And that's what right now the post game shows underway. So we'll keep you eyes here shortly. And then after that, the game will be all finished. Back to you, Brian. Who's your New Balance player of the game? Let's take a moment to present the New Balance player of the game. Bam Adebayo. Think about this. He has owned this game from start to finish. Wow. So impressive. The defense literally looked helpless trying to stop him out there. He has been far and away the best player on the court, and it's not close. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. Over that last break, I got a chance to hear what Eric Spolster said to the team. He said, quote, this one isn't over. Those guys will come roaring back. We have to be ready. If something doesn't go our way, don't dwell. Just move on to the next play. Back to you. Great work, Ali. Thanks. Good. Hey, I'm on the buyer. Gets the assist. Adebayo's got 27 points. And another great assist. The offense is really clicking now. Lillard passes to Middleton. Back to Lillard. Inside. Here's Lopez. Good Lopez! Jim Lopez. I'm Damian Lillard. I mean, he reads these important situations so well and knows exactly what to do. Hero, the pass to Butler. Out of bio from ball range. Rebounded by the Bucks. Two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. Two minutes. To the inside. Here's Lillard. Oh, and he got fouled. He fouled. Number two, Terry Rochier to third. His first personal foul, first team foul. The line for the Bucks. I mean, Damian Lillard. And the moment to look at the two shots in terms of where the points are coming right. from here right. for the Heat. Smart so. ball handling from them in this one, passing around to get ahead of the defense and putting it in the hands of ready shooters. Also, they were ultra consistent from outside, hitting a high percentage of those shots tonight. He drops the first one, and that brings it within two here. You can tell Damian Lillard is comfortable at the line, looking very confident. Everybody on your feet, defense! That's the hero. Likely. To the middle. Here's Butler. And yeah. Jimmy Butler. Butler's got nine. Six. Now in the Tyler, hero. You need a big basket, you turn to Jimmy Butler. He's the first option in their offense. It's Middleton on the wing. Beasley outside. And 
It's going to be definitely a probability game here before we get into this one with just only 31 seconds. There's a lot of great chances on the game and they are really are pushing it off. But let's say this, this is definitely what everyone has been going through. So that is going to be like a hard one they are typing. I have never seen it what anybody has been doing, but they are really are going to need this one here strike. And hopefully if the box wins this one again, they only won once of the game and this one's not that easy. They could definitely try to save it at all. But they are really a uh, big one to tie. Now let's have your takes here, uh, the Wood Spoonie. Who do you think is going to win in that game? My answer, I'm going to say, is the I'm going to say it's the Damien Lillard, there, boy. It's because it's dying time. <laughs> Damien time it is. I mean, it might be one of them, but let let's find out if it is. The probability of this matchup may be the only thing right for you to notice, but you may find out what's going to be out there for for the life. For the post game. That'll be coming up right after this. But now, this is a close game. Will they surpass it or will they stay alive? Back to you, Brian. Number 34, Giannis Antetokounmpo. That's first personal foul. First team foul. Final timeout of my Miami Heat. 23 seconds left in the fourth quarter. I guess that was wrong. It might be one thing, but there's a lot of chance it's going to take it over it. Mm, I'm not sure what this is going to be like, but this might be it. We'll find out what it is. I hear you coming through. Let's see if this will be a success or a takeaway. Bucks only have one timeout remaining. Let's find out what they do. They've done a great job of moving the ball tonight. Milwaukee foul. Number five, Billy Beasley. His first personal foul. Second team foul. Jimmy for Miami. Jimmy Butler. And the line for two shots. He throws good, and that'll put him up too. Hey, never one to shy away from the pressure. Jimmy with a huge opportunity at the line. Second one is good. Can Final timeout from Milwaukee Bucks. Three point game. That's why you want him at the line when the game is close. He knows how to deliver in the clutch. Timeout called. Milwaukee. They're behind by three. There's 21 seconds left in the fourth. All right, guys, what's your take? Tricky situation here. They need some kind of bucket to stay alive. Also, an interesting choice to be made right here. You need either a three or a quick two and a five. Well, let's find out if there is. Here we go. There's the 
There's 21 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Fans, thank you for joining us here for tonight's game. We'll ask you to get home safely. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Jimmy, congrats on the win. What did it take to get it done tonight? Uh, a lot of hearts. My teammates fought hard throughout the whole game, and everybody had a tough matchup and manned up. They were doing what was supposed to do. Congrats on the win. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Steve Smith, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time. All right, Brian, thanks. And this one has been a wild game. And I'm telling you now, this is the biggest loud state section. Fearing the deer in Milwaukee. Oh, yeah. And I definitely have a lot of bad feelings in this between. I mean, this could is definitely a tight game. But it was great. Definitely a great game. Well, as of right now, here's how they did with the total statistics. 52 for the field goals for the Bucks, And it was 45 three-pointers for Miami Heat. They haven't started shooting it right in between in the first game, but they finally never give up, and they wanted to get right into the second second period. Second game, of course, I'm sorry. But this happened to be one of them that they did, and they finally got better at it. Now this game, 9 out of 20, was not bad at all. Free throws was perfect for Milwaukee Bucks, 7 over 6. But it was 14 and 56 fast break points, and points in the paint, Turned to be out like it's the same thing for the Bucks too. Van Ford's second chance points was only Miami and the Bucks evened up. 19 for Milwaukee Bucks in the bench points. And it was 30 assists here for Miami Heat. Eight offensive rebounds here for my Milwaukee Bucks. They've been battling it so much. And it was not really easy to get this when you're done. But as you already know, this gets harder. And nobody is able to stop one. 24 defensive rebounds was Miami Heat. Only did that one for a lot of them. Five steals, two blocks. That was crazy. With one turnover. Both teams have a foul, so they're even up. Six dunks for Milwaukee Bucks. Fifteen biggest lead for Heat. With their time of possession, 17-25. And yeah, I know. What a, what a blowout this is. What a biggest upset of a game here in game two. But in our case, it's always have fun for everything. Yep, definitely true. I always know that it was definitely going to be a hard one to take, but now you know. It keeps on coming down. Yes, it is it. true exactly. Now it's time for three star players of the game. With Spoonie, all you. All right, thank you so much. Time for three star players of the game. We get right into this one here. A close battle and range inbound. We start things for Giannis on the with 24 points. Only five rebounds, three assists, and one steal. Only at 11, uh, 17 field goal range. And he had done 32 performance effort. He only made two dunks. That one was a powwow moment. He just definitely did that one once more to get that thing season alive. But in that case, he'll be wrapping things up and get ready to go to Miami to face against the Heat. Number two, we get this thing on the other side. Now, here's my favorite part. I love Bam Adebayo. With one block and only that, he made 27 points with 11 rebounds and 4 assists. Two dunks performed. 37 performance effort has been turning great. 12 out of 18 field goals, one three-pointer, and only four three-pointers on the second half of the court. He's been working on it. Definitely, he wants to raid the rally up here in Game 3 to take the lead series, but it may not be happening enough if he can get that. 
and your number one star. Well, as you call for now, it's all for one. Jimmy Butler with 35 points, 5 rebounds, 9 assists. And he's been like undefeatable in every matchups that he has been playing it for. But only the loss against the, uh, the, the visiting of the, of the city didn't help it at all. With 13 out of 19 field goal range, 5 three-pointers, 8 for three-pointers, and 53 performance effort. He was almost going to make it five, his trip to the fifth time to make the free throw, but it wasn't helpful enough. And so, the team has tied their series. That is right. As you already have noticed, this was like a battle of that one clash out there. I'm going to tell you now, just like the real postseason happened, and this is nowhere luck. Don't tell them, because they are coming right at you. You don't want to mess them up. Oh, no. Don't let that one get fooled over it. Oh <laughs> boy, that's that's what they all do. They can't let that one get fooled over. Anyway, meantime, that's it for this game, and I think we have one more game. Yes, it's true, and that is the Suns and the Wolves here in Minnesota. We'll get everything breaked up, and then we'll get ready to get right into the final game. With that, peace out, folks, for a while as the NBA 2K Sports of the 2K24 Playoff Dial. This is Son of Beast. And Woods Journey, along with the 2K Sports crew, this has been a presentation of the first night of the NBA playoffs. Look for more of them coming soon, and we'll see you all again for games three and four after the final game of game two. Until next time, mate. Peace out. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.